And in the end, during the finale, you didn't know how it was going to go. You really didn't. The finale was Forrest Griffin and Stephen Bonner. It was important to me is that it was the gateway to fighting for a living and not working. Their entire live stream has been this moment, and you are seeing it right now live on television. Yeah, the first time the UFC was going to be on cable TV live just for free. Anyone could go on and watch it. Once we got in there, there was a lot of energy, and it, it did feel really important. And I just remember before, me and my coach, between the two of us, drank a whole bottle of Pepto-Bismol because we kept getting more and more nervous about it. And for some reason, I knew that we were going to have a barn burner to the fight. I, I was just going to make sure it was a barn burner. And that was my best chance of winning. We are fight. anticipating on, a slugfest. And here we go. Here we go. Six-figure contract on the line. That fight starts, and it's on, man. Both have really good reach here. And I slapped that right. Oh, right pretty happy with the way things were going. I thought it landed some decent shots. He hit me like four or five times in the face before I think I even got off. Then, you know, then I got pissed, and then I took it back to him. Couple wild shots by Forrest. Nice time oh, signing kick. back kick. Oh, and a head kick. with a knee. Oh, Stefan oh. Bonner staying in the pocket. Bonner teeing off. Stefan and Forrest beat the ever-living out of each other. And here we go. Wow, big right hand. It's ingrained in my head, just two guys punching each other over and over. The spirit and emotions these two guys brought to the cage was amazing. And even if you weren't a fan of the sport, you happen to be flipping through your channels, you just had to stop and watch. People were at home, and they were calling each other on the phone. They go, dude, you got to watch this And the number just starts to grow and grow and grow and grow. The crowd in here is just on its feet. Oh, uppercut just missed. and forth, mostly stand-up. You can't even script the fight better than that. Bonner rewind with another right attack. hand. Forrest with a counter. The crowd stomping their feet. The place feels like it's going to explode. They are on their feet. What a Here war. at the Cox Pavilion. Listen to the crowd react. That was glory in God's heart. How bad do you want it? How many punches are you willing to take to grab that glory? What is keeping these guys going? Bloodied, battered, but neither can be beaten. These guys laid everything on the line. Like it, life and death. So you want to be an ultimate fighter? What a fight. I would hate to have to score this fight. Oh, what a finish. What a finish. We knew right there, man, this is it. This is what we needed. We knew we made it. At the end of the fight, I was so tired, I just remember throwing my hands up and thinking to myself, there's a good chance I could get the nod. But I also thought, hey, you know, there's a good chance he could get the nod, too. The fight looks even. The fight looks even. What a razor close fight, razor close. But it's three rounds. They got to give a winner. It's not a draw. Someone won. For the winner, by unanimous decision, for We run this company, at some extent, sometimes at the seat of our pants. And everybody's in the octagon. Dana walks over. He goes, hey, you know, that was a close fight. What do you think? Should we give both guys a contract? Go, Whatever you want to do, man, let's do it. We can do it, he said. They talked about that inside the cage they made that decision. It was really that crazy. It was so nuts. I literally walked up in there and said, there is no loser in this fight. And we're going to offer Stefan Bonner a six-figure contract with the U.S. and the place just exploded. When Dana gave me the contract, too, it was part of it was, oh, crap, I guess I have to do this for a living. <laughs> Nobody talked to us about doing a season two until that fight was over. Spike pulled us aside, said, hey, we want to do a new deal. We want to re-up you for another season of The Ultimate Fighter. The next deal for Spike was literally cut in the alley out where all the trucks are. In the back of the parking lot. After that fight, on a napkin or a envelope or something. That's how I guess Hollywood does business. And we were off and running. <laughs>